Hey guys, on the story says that says and welcome to another episode of Sega Review and still sick. So uh, I figure that I'm at the stage of recovering, but I think I'm good enough to record. So I'm gonna try to record. If I record good, you get a video to watch. If not, scrap and do it again. So today we're doing the Punch Dad's Home Movie. Right. That's all movie from Punch. Okay? So, this time they did it in a <clears throat> video cassette tape style. Last year they did it in a bottle, like a beer bottle. Man, why not have that ready? I'm gonna go grab it. Alright. <clears throat> Last time they did it in beer bottles. So, I guess beer movies, like a dad thing. So this time, movie. And, and the common scene, this, this is box of 20. But technically, they're two that are the same, right? Uh, these two are the same. So you could just buy 10 and it will have that set. Yeah. It's a two video set. That means is. Well, each video is about 90 minutes. So you got three hours of movie to watch. Yay! Let's take a look at this thing. It says DHM10. Okay, 10 cigars from Punch on one side. The top says graduation, wedding, beer league finals. And for those people that don't know, this tab came off. Right here is Stalker. This tab is whether or not it allows it to record. So they make sure to peel that off and it won't record over the old videos. Okay, it says that home movie in the back. In the back says social media. What do you know about being social media in my day? I've invited friends over, sit on the couch, have a beer, light up a cigar, pop and VHS of me suffering through a family vacation. All the idiot friends. All my idiot friends will laugh at me, and now you can too. Light up a cigar and enjoy Dad's home movie. Okay. I don't know if that's true for me. I hated the videotapes, but I love it, the videotape, because videotape means that you go out and get some new movie to watch, but <clears throat> you got to rewind it, you got to return it, and all that stuff. It's really annoying. I don't know. You have that experience of like returning your video late. I'm, I'm that person. I don't like to return things. So I, that's why I end up just like, you know, have that, that expectancy that I just, you know, uh, I just want to buy it. I'm just not going to return it. Right. Okay. So inside. Right. Not much inside. Dad's home movie. Tell you the tobacco. And it opens up like this. Boing. There you go. Be kind, rewind. There you see? Gotta rewind. Gotta rewind your video. Alright, so... End it. That is the bottom of the video tape. You know, they did a pretty good job. You know, this is how really it does, how it looks like, but just put in two. Um, I mean, this is a good way to do box. 
It's not. It's cost efficient. It's it's cute. It's nice. People would like to collect it. Smart. Whoever that designed their packaging and and ideas for 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 uh, punch, you got it right. You got it right. Everybody should hire you guys. You know. So sell only on lot in the United States, handmade in Honduras. All right. So that means gotta pick up a cigar. They have the two rows of fives. Yeah. And we are gonna get a close look at the cigar. Punch Dad's Home Movie, 6x50 box price Toro. It is Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan filler from Candega, Esli, Opatepe, and the whole thing is made in Honduras. MSRP, $7.49. And in a box of 10, twice. I mean, when you buy them, they come in box 20. You know, they put together. I mean, two boxes, 10, and which is a 20. In comparison, last year was four and a half by 60. So this is way bigger than last year. Now, this this one looks kind of rough, a little rough, but shouldn't affect the smoking experience too much. We'll see. So let's get started. Mm. I just poke myself in the eyes by doing that. Ah! Smell like fermentation, almost like ammonia and stink. I don't know what you what to describe that as. All right, the cap looks okay. A little bit spongy. Kind of worried. A little bit chocolatey. A little bit of leafy stinkiness. That's what I got. All right, here we go. I bought this lighter recently over the vacation. Ordered it directly from ST. So I'm not gonna use it. Oh, it's really not easy to use. Like this thing feels like it's gonna burn my hand anytime. Like what the All right, maybe I will delete this uh, video. Wow. There's a wet leaf taste to it. A wet leaf. A wet bitter leaf taste to it. And this pepper, some pepper in here. Wow, what? Yeah, what is that? A really old, wet, leafy taste with pepper. And bitterness. That's weird. All right, let me try to smoke through one third. And maybe I'll light something else to make sure my taste bud is not dead again. Be right back. You know, after you get sick for a while, your palate is so new. It's kind of weird. Like I haven't got to one third yet, but like I have to say, it's kind of weird. I thought I lost my taste bud a bit because of that bleh, I thought bleh, 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 bleh. I thought I lost my taste bud again, 
So I was like, oh, maybe if I try another cigar, and then that should be like, you know, get the get try another cigar to make sure that my taste buds are the same. So <clears throat> I tried it, uh, the Davidoff. I smoke this. Like, oh, I can taste everything. I go back to smoke this. I still taste all that weird shit. Like so. My palate is so fresh that I taste all the good and bad. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Pepper is killing my nose right now, but it's kind of weird. Yeah, so, you know, when you guys say that I have a, a fresh palate to try something new, it might not be the best thing. It might not be because some of the notes that you thought you can ignore, you haven't had it for a while, and you smoke it, you're like, what is that? Ew, what is that, brother? What is that? You know? Right now, it's okay. Right now, I can enjoy the cigar. But... Yeah, I'll be right back. Oof. What was that? Alright, what about one third? I can't say I'm completely enjoying the cigar. Now, that the flavor is pepper, this damp leafiness, leathery, and a little bit earthy. That's what I got. I didn't, I didn't get the typical Nicaraguan like flavor. I, I just get leafiness, leathery, smokiness, um, peppery, like spice. And yeah, first third, that's all I got. It's not it's not crazy. I'm not I'm not a big fan right now. I'm not a big fan right now. Usually I like one of these things, but I'm not a big fan right now. Tap the ash off, try again. Yeah. About medium strength. I mean, it's got a little bit of that Nicaraguan nuance, but it's not giving me the Nicaraguan flavor I'm looking for. The pepper is relatively burning, but that's pretty much it. Wow. Tastes old. I guess that's what it, what they tried to portray. I don't know. Tastes old. So, uh, we'll be right back. Second, third. Holy shit. Maybe it's my fresh palate. Okay, second, third. As you can see my face, this thing is like, oh, <clears throat> um, let's talk about second third. First of all, that leafy taste at time it gets sweeter. And when it gets sweeter, it kind of tastes like fruity, like apple, something like that. But when it's not sweet, it's like leaf. And there's a lot of leather. It's a lot of bitter coffee, dark black coffee and that's pretty much it this cigar at times enjoyable majority of the time is not i don't know why i don't know why and i did find out like you know after smoking this thing through i was like you know what the hell is dhm so yeah daddy's dad's home movie dhm so 10 for 10 count apparently that's what it is but yeah it was a band <clears throat> Cut that end. Let me cut that end. I don't know, but that's the band. It looks like uh like a movie label right on the top of the video. Like when after you record it, you write down whatever it is. But but this cigar is ooh ah ooh. It, you gotta be certain kind of people to like this cigar. Like you do, you have to like oh I love leather. All I want is leather. Leather, you know this. It's too leathery. It's too dark. Smoky taste. That covers up the enjoyment. I think there is some enjoyable notes in there that always get covered by this dark, leathery earthiness. It's not very enjoyable to me. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this. 
But yeah, now well, last turn, I smoke through it. I just hope it just ch changes for that. There was one point that's about to change the nice, like I, I almost taste like something like a chocolate or something like that. But that was just like one puff. After that, it did not come back. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All right. Last turn. Finish this up. Ooh. Ugh. Yeah. All right. Last turn. Um, pretty much the same. Died down a little bit. But still smoky. Leathery. A little bit earthy. A little bit nose burn. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> I mean... For the price, I can see people enjoy it. For for someone in the fresh palette, you gotta get some notes that you might not expect and you might not like. And then for people who like you know earthiness, who like leather, you gotta enjoy it. That's that's what all this is. But if you wanted to take this as like a Nicaraguan uh, driven taste, it's, it's not. It's not that. It's not that. So, yeah, for me. I think the cigar lands at six dollars. Yeah, six dollars for me. Now, <clears throat> aside from the price, even though it's, it's only seven bucks, it's not too big difference. Seven seven fifty, it's not too big a difference for six dollar. But for my six dollars, is because this thing really have a good collectability, and uh, I I will still even this thing tastes like a complete crap. Uh, not saying that it, it, it is, it's just like not to my palate because right now I taste a lot of leather. It's not really my thing. Um, I will still say that this is still a good cigar to collect. And I'm trying to figure out what this firework is. It looks like this, like writing words on it. I just can't tell. But yeah, it's a good collection. It's a good collector's edition. Pair with light beer, pep popcorn, and ranch dip. I haven't tried that pair. I don't know. So, overall, I like it. Overall, the cigar itself, once in a while, maybe, and I probably had to revisit, but for now, as a fresh, fresh palette, it's not, it's not that very enjoyable for me. Some people might like it. It's, a, it's supposed to be fun thing, right? When you buy something like this for fun thing, you're looking for collection value, you're looking for fun value, you're not really looking for this cigar is gonna blow you out of your mind because, like I say, from the my base point, it's not that different of a price. So, six dollars that's where it is. I um, even if the cigars didn't even taste six dollars, like if the cigar tastes a dollar, I'll still buy it just to cook. So, it is what it is. Okay, so that will be it for this for blah 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 blah. blah can't talk. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <clears throat> So that will be it for this particular cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, check out things that I will slow put out again because I haven't had anything. Been sick. I'm still sick. Might not look like it. Still is. My mind is not working how it's supposed to be, but I'll be back slowly. And we'll have a lot more review that's backlogged to be delivered. So I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.